My name is Imelda Poole and I'm a, an English woman, as you can hear from my accent. Um, I actually come from Birmingham, which is in the middle of England, and it was from a, a town a little bit near Birmingham that I entered religious life uh, to the Abbey VM Loretto Congregation. Well, I mean, the incredible thing was that when I was 13, um, I had this um, kind of real sense that God was calling me to religious life. And to be truthful, I didn't like the idea at all, and I didn't really like the religious that were around me, which is a pretty awful thing to say, but I mean, they were my teachers, so it was just a teenage rebellion thing. And sometimes I even used to kind of walk around rather than go to church with the rest of the school. And so the very thought of becoming a nun at 13 was awful. So I decided the thing to do was to go to church every day on my own and pray to God to take this vocation away so that I would never, ever have to be a nun. And it was when I was about, and, and I didn't actually, I mean, I just completely forgot all about the very thought of it, which was delightful for me. And then uh, when I was as early as 17, um, I went to a new school, I lived in a new town called Nottingham, and uh, there I met the Loretto sisters for the first time. And uh, they were so wholesome, happy, whole, they were uh, lively and communicated very normally with me. And I thought this was quite, quite a change from my experience of religious life. And it was at that time also that I had probably began to grow up a bit. And I used to go and have lots of fun at night with my friends and we'd go to parties and dance and so on. And also at that time I joined a group that got into apostolic work visiting the sick and the elderly, and I, I got a sense of, um, I suppose it was really a civic sense, a sense that I wasn't just for myself alone. And then after that, um, during this time in fact, I, I started going to church on my own. And in the church I found a little book called uh, The Love of God, and I began to pray this every day. And I think actually at that age I just fell in love with God. And it was very deep and very rich and from there I discerned my vocation and I entered religious life into the Loreto congregation. I think when I was at prayer I, I actually felt a relationship of love that was intensely deep and after that time you know a couple of guys actually did fall in love with me and asked me to marry them. But actually, the love that I felt, although it was a real love for them, it was nowhere as deep as this experience that I had in the church and, and in my life walking down the streets. It was very, very deep, and it still is. It's like a fire. And Mary Ward said, um, divine love is like a fire which cannot be stopped, for it is impossible to love God and not to want to labour to extend God's glory. So my working with the sick and the elderly and my intensely on-fire passion of love kind of came together with the desire to do something about it in terms of service. Yeah. I entered in 1963, which was the time of the Vatican II, and uh, huge changes in the church and religious life because we were forced by the church to become very monastic, but actually Mary Ward founded us to be very apostolic and with the people, wearing the modest dress of the day. So within 10 years or more, I was in the dress that I would be wearing now. And uh, um, by 1980, 90s, we were moving more and more into the Ignatian charism, which is what we were born to become by Mary Ward. We were adopting the Ignatian constitutions, which were very, very outward going. The whole thrust was to do what was the greatest needs in the church of today. So yes, we had wonderful schools of excellence, spirituality centers, but little by little we were moving into mission on the edge. Well, I've become Albanian, I think you could safely say. <laughs> I'm more Albanian in my uh, drawings, desiring, 
thinking. I'm not culturally Albanian, but I've been here 12 years and I love it here. And I'm a citizen of Albania, permanent citizen. Um, I live in Tirana. Um, I'm actually on mission as an IBBM on my own, but have a, a wonderful group of young uh, adults who are friends of Mary Ward that come for prayer and friendship and mission um, every month to my flat. And then we also have an NGO called Mary Ward Loretto, which is totally focused on anti-trafficking. Besides that, I also work across Europe in a uh, network of religious and co-workers also working against human trafficking. The, uh, the joy is people, it definitely, out in the field, working with our staff in the different uh, pieces of work against human trafficking. It's the whole um, dialogue going on to find the best way and the greatest fruit in, in uh, working against human trafficking. Um, I love the work with Renata, working in teams. I love the whole thing of creating a new vision and developing the new work. Mary Ward spirituality is, um, has the three fingers to it, if you like, of freedom, justice and truth. And we always add joy because joy is at the heart of it all. Um, I think that if you melt Mary Ward spirituality into the Ignatian uh, charism, which is the two parts of our way of life, you kind of move along a way that is very focused on doing God's will. So that means that the base of the spirituality leading to freedom, justice and truth is about this relationship of love with God which in prayer opens you to really reflect on what is God wanting today and how can I live the greatest loving life in each moment and that in itself leads you to be open to change and to um, respond to the different needs that may arise in a day that are the greatest loving thing the greatest fruit that might come from that love. Love is in the heart of the gospel. So at the heart of us, the heart of Mary Ward is the gospel of Jesus. So Jesus is the most important and Mary's first words, word was Jesus. So if we follow the path of the gospel, then it's gonna lead to greater love and greater freedom, greater truth. But in practical application, this concrete, it's, it's searching in prayer. Prayer is really, I mean, Jesus went away for hours overnight to pray because he wanted to stay close to God. And Mary, Mary Ward kept saying, stay close to him. Mm -hmm. So in concrete application, it's preparing the heart and the mind each day to live that life in freedom, justice and truth. So that uh, when we're out in the fields uh, with the women or we're working uh, with an abused person, uh, automatically God is with us, giving us the words and kind of giving us the, the strength and the, the truth to be who we are, not to be anybody but who we are. And in that truth, the other person will capture and catch sincerity. And, and, and relationship of love. I think that uh, if you are discerning your way in life, every way is very good. But the important thing is that you find the way that you know and you can discern as far as you're able. This is the path that God wants you to take. So even if you felt really desiring to be an IBVM sister, a Loretto sister, but it wasn't the path that God chose for you, you have to give up on that, that idea because you won't, you'll be miserable mm. and you'll know it after a few years and you're, you know, you, you, you've gone the wrong way according to God's path for you. The same would go if you tried to resist that call because that is the core where you'll be most happy if you follow it.